Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Studio Series 86. Jazz. I looked out and found this Jazz today at my local Walmart in the bottom shelf stuffed all the way in the back behind a bunch of Batman figures. So big shout out to the individual who hid this Jazz for me. And if you didn't hide this Jazz for me, oh well. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. You've got Jazz here in robot mode. Great artwork of Jazz right here. Transformers Studio Series 86. Side of the box, you got Jazz's head, big grin on his face, Studio Series 86. Back of the box, you got Jazz in robot mode and vehicle mode. And this side of the box is more fantastic artwork of Studio Series Jazz with an 86 right there. So now, without any further ado, let's get this guy opened up out of the package and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Studio Series 86 Jazz all open and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with his rifle and this really cool backdrop depicting Moonbase 1. So if you have the space on your display, you can display Jazz just like that. Unfortunately, I don't. So that's going back into the box and into storage. So now let's take a closer look at Jazz himself. Now right off the bat, Jazz looks amazing. This is one fantastic looking figure. I mean, he looks like he stepped right out of the screen. I couldn't be happier with the way he looks, and I absolutely love that head sculpt. Much better than Studio Series 86 Blur, who looks like he's addicted to meth, and Studio 86 Cup, who looks like his prunes just aren't working. Jazz, on the other hand, looks fantastic. Great paint applications there on the face with the blue visor, the silver face, the black helmet. Great paint applications all around. He's got the blue headlights, the blue up there on the chest, blue designs right there on the crotch area, silver stomach. Moving on down to the legs, he's got silver paint right there. And the guy just looks awesome. He is very, very cartoon accurate. Now, the Generation 1 toy had the wings that splayed out on the back. But in the cartoon, Jazz did not have those wings. So this guy is spot on. Looking all the way around the figure, he has a little bit of a backpack. But really, it's not bad. And I think it's ingenious how this backpack works as far as the vehicle kibble. Now, articulation for Jazz, the head is on a ball joint, can look up and down, do a complete 360. The arms, they can go up, they can go down, they can do a complete 360 as well. There is an elbow bend, there is an elbow rotation, but no wrist rotation due to transformation. That's a lot of Asians right there. He does have a big glaring gap right there. That's so the fists can fold up into the forearm. 
I miss the days where you had a lever. You could slide the fist in and out. That would have made that look so much better. Carrying on with articulation, there is a waist rotation. The legs can go in and out, back and forth. There is a knee bend. Actually, kind of a double knee bend due to transformation. He's got this knee bend, which is the actual one, and then there's kind of a secondary knee bend right there, so you can really get some range of motion. And he has ankle tilts. So all in all, a fantastic figure. Now he also comes with his weapon that looks very Generation 1 accurate, aside from these pegs here on the side. And what those are for is on the back of the figure, there is a hole so he can store the weapon like so. Me personally, I like to store the weapons in the fists of my character, and I think that looks a lot better than on his back. Now, I hate the side pegs. They really take away from the look of the weapon, but it could be worse. At least it's not a seat gun like the Titan's Return figures were plagued with. So now let's get into transformation. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is remove the rifle, and we'll go ahead and fold the hands in. Now down here for the legs, we're going to fold the feet down, like so, and then we'll go ahead and peg the legs together. Down here at the bottom, you got these two pegs right there. Peg those together. Take these wheels right here and rotate those just like so. So now we have that look going on. Now we're going to bring the backpack out and then lift the chest area up. So we've got this going on. Now right here, I think this is really cool. Bring these sections down and now what you're going to do is bring the rear window out from underneath the backpack. And you want to be really careful with this because these sections here can catch on the doors. And you probably notice that's all clear plastic. So definitely go easy with that. So once you get that locked in place, you've got that look going on. So now what we're going to do is take Jazz's head and fold it down through the hood. This will rotate up this blue section right here. And then you got this flap. Bring that up. And there you have the hood complete. Now, this is kind of tricky. It took me a while to figure out in the instructions is we're going to rotate the waist section, but only this silver part. So you're bringing that up and around because you want to be careful when you're doing the waist rotation, that will go with it. So you just want to make sure and rotate this silver section. Now we're going to take the legs and just collapse those into each other like so. Bring this part down and kind of get that in position. So now with the arms, Right here, you're going to kind of rotate these wheels around at the same time, manipulating the arms to get those all tucked in. And once you get those arms in, you want to make sure the forearm here is facing out so this tab is sticking out away from the vehicle. And just put that in position. Do the same thing here on this side. And once those arms are in place, you're going to shut the doors. See the slot right there? That corresponds with that tab. Get everything lined up. Tabbed in together. Flip the vehicle over. And right here, you've got two little tabs that are going, going into slots. I don't know if you can see it. That's right there under that back glass. So we'll get that tabbed in place. Get everything lined up. And now we have Jazz in vehicle mode. And that vehicle mode is sharp. Very Generation 1 looking. I love that vehicle. It's got the blue and red race stripe all the way down from the hood to the roof or from the roof to the hood. Big Autobot logo right there. Of course, you saw this in robot mode. The grill, the headlights, the red pinstriping. 
the wheels, the front wheel, it's got those blasted clips where the back wheel doesn't look bad at all. I really wish Hasbro would get rid of these damn clips, especially with the Studio Series figure. Now, with the windows, they're tinted, which looks good, but they're still translucent, so you can see all of the robot junk there on the inside. So that's kind of disappointing. Got the big 14 there on the door, and he rolls really, really good. I dig it. This is a great vehicle mode. He's got a big old bumper, though, the way the feet are, but that doesn't look bad. It looks like, what was that movie, Death Race 2000? They had the tombstone back bumper, so that's in case any Decepticons try to run him off the road. So now let's compare Studio Series 86 Jazz with his Generation 1 counterpart. And to be honest, these guys, man, they're almost the exact same size. And I love that. That is a great throwback to the original Generation 1 toy. Now, granted, G1 has a lot more details as far as the stickers are concerned, but I know for a fact that Toy Hacks has a set coming out for this version, and I've already ordered it. Can't wait for it to come in. Now, of course, I showed this off earlier. You can put the gun right here on top of the vehicle via the handle or like so with the side pegs. But if he's going to be in vehicle mode, the gun can just lay to the side because that kind of ruins the look. But yeah, a great vehicle mode and a great throwback to that original Generation 1 toy. So there you go, guys. One final look at Studio Series 86 Jazz in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series 86 Jazz with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Jazz, Generation 1 Classic Pretenders Jazz, and Reveal the Shield Jazz. Transformers Studio Series 86 Jazz is a great figure. This has now become the center point jazz in my collection, finally replacing my Reveal the Shield Jazz. This figure is cartoon accurate to the T, great Generation 1 throwbacks, I love the face sculpt, and I couldn't be happier with this figure. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series 86 Jazz. So, does the Transformers Studio Series 86 Jazz belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a fantastic toy and the best jazz figure that we've got in years. As I said, this guy is going to be replacing my Reveal the Shield Jazz that I've had front and center over there for years. I love this figure and I'm so happy that I grabbed him, so happy that I found him, so happy that guy hit him, and yeah, this guy is awesome. So you see him on the shelf, don't hesitate, pick him up, you are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And big news, Today, I hit 8,000 subscribers, so thank each and every one of you so very much. I never in a million years would have imagined that this channel would grow the way it has. So, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. And once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!